All right, we're going to start talking about open sentences. And so before we do that, I want to talk about the differences between an equation and an expression. An expression does not have an equal sign where an equation does have an equal sign. I, I like to remember that you've got this equation and equal sign. So the equation and the equal sign go hand in hand. So for example, and why do we need to know it, this whole thing right here that we're going to use in a second is called an equation. And part of it, just the left hand side, could be called an expression. So why is this important? Well, an equation can be solved. Or you could say, has a solution. Or we're going to say solution or solution set, meaning could be more than one. Where an expression, no solution. Maybe it could be simplified. So, there you have it. Expression can't be solved, no solution, but an equation can be solved. And I don't mean no solution like there is absolutely no number that will make it true. I mean, it cannot be solved. There's no point in solving it because there is not an equal sign, no equal sign. All right. So, how do you determine solutions? Well, are the following solutions. So, is negative 3 a solution to this equation? And so let's plug it in. So let's say x equals negative 3. Is it a solution? Well, 5. 5x five means 5 times x. So I'm going to do 5 times negative 3 and just put it in parentheses like that. Because when I put it in parentheses, that means multiplication. So that's negative 15 plus 7. So that is negative 8. Does negative 8 equal 17? No. So, not a solution. What about x equals 2? Um, 5 times x, which is 5 times 2, plus 7 equals 17. Well, that's 10 plus 7 equals 17. Remember, we're doing order of operations, so we have to do the multiplication first. So that means 17 equals 17. That means, yes, 2 is a solution. 6. Some of you are saying, well, we just found the answer, so why do we have to try it? Well, let's just try it. 5 times 6 plus 7 equals 17. 30 plus 7, because 5 times 6 is 30. 37 does not equal 17, so therefore 6 is not a solution. So, we're going to talk about sets, and I actually already used a set symbol, but a select is a, a collection of objects or numbers, and so, I mean, by objects, you could put a square in a set, and a circle, and things like that, whatever you want to plug into something, or group together, and sets are represented by brackets, you can practice drawing, drawing those, I always joke that it I took a whole semester class on how to how to draw these. And then each number in a set is called an element. Just a fancy word meaning it's inside the set. It's part of it. And so up here, negative 3, 2, and 6 could have been part of a set. For example, negative 3, 2, and 6. And so together they make up the set. One single piece is an element. Now, what we used up there was called a replacement set. Negative 3, 2, 6 were the numbers that we took and plugged into the equation to see what the solutions are. And so what we're going to do now is do the exact same thing we just did, but with 2, 3, and 4, and a new equation. 
And so what we're going to say is find the solution set, the numbers that make up the solution. So it could be more than one, remember. So let's do n equals 2. So 5 times 2 plus 4 equals 19. Because we're trying 2 because it's telling us. If you don't know, obviously the whole world is open to you. And you're going to have to just take guesses and stuff at, at what it is. And actually we're going to be talking about how to actually solve these later on. So 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 does not equal 19. Sorry. Hmm. 14 does not equal 19, so that is not a solution. What about n equals 3? 5 times 3 plus 4. I've got a good feeling about this one because it's 15 plus 4 and you get 19. How about it? Now, I've been using equal signs here, and I guess you could put little question marks over it because we don't necessarily know that they're equal, right? We're just testing it out. But here, ding, 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 it works out. So n equals 3 is a solution. So I'm going to start my solution set. And I'm going to put 3 in there. I'm not going to include 2 because it didn't work. n equals 4. 5 times 4 plus 4 is 20 plus 4, or 24, equals 19. And that is not true. And so I'm not going to include that. So my solution set only contains one element. Now, next one, negative 6 times, uh, let's just go in the same order, 2 plus 10 equals negative 14. So you get negative 12 plus 10 equals negative 14. Negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2, and so that is not true. How about negative 6 times 3 plus 10? So that is negative 18 plus 10, negative 8, because combining those, one positive, one negative. And so this is also not true. So then, finally, we're on to choosing the 4. And again, we just did 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 4, I'm just going in that order again. Plus 10. So that's negative 24 plus 10 equals negative 14. And we have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations. We found it. So, solution set. Practice doing these little set guys again. And again, we'll... And so what was our solution? 4. Remember that it's not negative 14. 4 is what we plugged in, and so 4 is the solution.